Nearly eight years ago, I did about this Franz's HDR project highlight. So that was in February 2016. So this video is going to be about uh, one of their other products as well. And I got this email, which I subscribed to from Francis. Um, and it's basically, they do a lot of things. And uh, the ones that interest me are the ones that's photo editing. And uh, so in here, it has um, something called Focus Projects 3 Pro, Sharpen Projects, Denoise, and Neat Projects for only $15, which is about £12.50 in English money. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to just do this. I bought a similar package a couple of years ago um, for the same programs. So this one I'm going to do about Sharpen. So anyway, I thought I'd do something on there. So here we have is Sharpen Projects. And we'll see if this actually works. So this is just a bit of blind things I'm doing. Um, the news here as well is about you have a new version. I think these are, they are a few years old now. But if you click here, it'll save money. Um, I mean, they're charging that 89 99 dollars and, and things like that well, I wouldn't go anywhere near that for for that type of price I don't think they're worth that um, but uh, for $20 and you get cut out nine professional for $12 which is another um, program they do cut out nine I think the solemn sold short short on that because um, that just suggests that it's just a cut out program and you know you can change the background and stuff like that well cut out is actually um, I have it on uh, somewhere here. Cut out 10 Pro. This is, uh, I actually have bought cut out 5 or 6 or something like that. So this is just a trial I've done. But it's actually a, a, a total photo editing product, really. It's not just a cut out. Anyway, um, the Sharp and One, Sharp and Four project, I haven't bought it and I don't think I will this is what you get so the one i'm going to do is sharpen um the earlier version which was in the uh in the offer that i got to so upload an image so i'm going to do this one here which is about a spider because i do a lot of macro and a lot of night shots that's my basic photography needs so you see if a bad photo isn't going to be changed by software, a bad photo is a bad photo, and that's as simple as that. But if a photo can actually be enhanced, you know, to its potential, well, then, you know, that that's fair enough. But, like, it doesn't matter what software you use, you can't make a, a, a bad photo into a good photo, but you can make a good photo into an excellent one. So on here, you have, like, the sharp, the sharp bits... And the end of it, the spider's legs. So, if we just go in here, if if you see all of um, Franz's software, it has basically um, this type of style of interface. I've uh, I've actually got in, um, HDR7, um, which I bought from a shampoo, and uh, again, very similar type of um, interface. The uh, you have the, you know, where you zoom in like that. And you'd also have like a timeline so you can put restore points. So like, for example, create a restore point And that puts it down there to save. But um, yeah, so they're fairly easy. It's, it's like a lot of software. There's probably things that you, you just don't know. Um, and this here tells you what the original is. And how much sharpen it can be but I haven't done any parameters or anything like that yet so that's just the original image and this this is a compare window which is found here um, and of course every uh, has every software that's photograph eccentric is uh, histogram not really too bothered about histograms myself but hey. so this is what you what you see on the um, compare, so you can actually see what's what's going on. Is it, you know, making that much of a deal? 
So we're going to, with this, I'm going to do what's called point of interest. So this is the magnifying glass up here as well. And this is just a brief tutorial on this thing. So this is, it's not a bad shot, this. Um, but getting spiders, I mean, this is a tiny little thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is a point of interest, which comes up there, which is not where the point I want. So on here, I want it down by the eyes. So approximately there. And then it processes that. And then set automatically. And there we go. So what happens with that uh, rectangle thing by the eyes? You don't actually see that in the uh, final image or anything like that. It's just... Uh, um, this is just see what you've actually done and then you can put a restore point for that so you see that then you can go back so that's the original then the eyes are much sharper and um and then you have also again the compare window just to see exactly how it looks and you can put this as a, a big window the one feeling about franz's software is well, they've got a few different fillings, but one thing is the undo. They should have an undo button on here. So you can see that there. It's a, it's not a bad shot, but it's still hazy. But when you go in there, that's very sharp. So that does work. As I say, when you do finalize the things and you save it, this rectangle goes, so you see the, the image um, in just the sharpness that it is. So it does work. And this other one I'm going to do, it's just a brief overview this is. So we're going to do another one, which is file upload image. Would you like to see it? I don't know. Um, but it's going to be a paint pot, which you could think, well, a paint pot's not much of a subject, but it illustrates well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in here. So this is a paint a paint since 1890 uh, that's when the Johnsons were uh, formed so this is a good one actually to see where you know like sort of where, how sharp you can get into again this won't I don't think I think it'll enhance it but I don't think you can actually get it really pin sharp because it's not a very good shot and it wasn't you know it wasn't designed that way when I took it so we go into, again, what I said about a point of interest. Right, so my point of interest on here is not where theirs is. Mine is where the 1890 is. So what we're going to do is go to set auto. It's, it's quite easy software to use, really. You know, there's there's not a lot to it. Uh, file up there, you just upload image, image data, his, um, history viewer, save final image and other projects, um, edit, which is just raw processing, which does very well, actually. So this is, this is a few years old and it's doing raw processing then. Um, and I shoot a lot in raw, especially night shots. Exif information window, so you can have that as well. Um, this was taken on a Canon 1100 and, uh, yeah, just put some ex exif information there. Um, preparing images creates restore point like I've shown on the last one with the, um, timeline. Um, and just information, sharpen projects homepage and things like that, which I'll uh, leave in the description as well. And, uh. That's just for that, but you can, there's other ones there, so the, you would go to photography as it's got there. Again, it's not great. Uh, there's, there's about 100 million people in the world that speak German. There's about 2 billion that speak English, so the, you know, I've mentioned to them about this, but hey, whatever. Um, so let's do this 1890 business. And we just have to wait on that to post process. Yes. So that is much sharper. So if we go into the compare window, 
we see it so that's at 87 percent zoom usually on a um on a photograph that you're working with it's probably not going to be 87 it'll be less than that usually if you're going to put it up on things like social media if you're not going to put a, a tin of paint on social media it just wouldn't wouldn't be wouldn't be any good but you can see how sharp that is um if we can just do more of a full window and come on and you can do it that way as well so so you can't it, it definitely works this it's not for every shot not at all but when you need something that just you just want to sharpen it and your photo editor is not a photo editor generally is well general thing it doesn't do one it's not a one trick pony which is basically what this is and it, you know that that's that's it's you know it's doing one thing but it's doing one thing very well and it can make a, a, a good photo and an excellent photo so there you see it's for example if you're going for an eye test you know you would if this was like a prescription and you test yeah you can see the 1890 but if you went there you're seeing it sharper and that would be a better better fit for your eyes wouldn't it so anyway just um i'll leave the um i'll leave the website uh on the description so i just thought this would be an interesting thing especially uh an english version of uh, the video so thank you for watching